My favorite food city is uh, Hiroshima in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, they've got all sorts of food. They've, of course, got the really famous sushi that everyone thinks about when they think of Japanese food. Right. But they've got so much else to offer. Uh, Hiroshima is really famous for its okonomiyaki, which is like a cross between a pancake and a pizza. And it's kind of egg and like a flour mixture with cabbage and noodles and meat and sometimes cheese. It's really good. Mm. One of my favorite restaurants is a place called uh, Daikichi, which specializes in grilled chicken. You can get grilled chicken with cheese, grilled chicken with plum sauce, uh, and a really good soup with uh, rice and right. ginger in it. I'd love to take you to Daikichi. You'd love it. That sounds they do good. good beer too. Um, but also, you can get tempura in Hiroshima, which is like prawns and vegetables uh, deep fried in a really light, fluffy batter. It's really good. And then... Uh, you have also the informal restaurants that are called uh, izakaya, mm -hmm. where you go with a group of friends and you order lots of dishes and everyone shares and eats from the middle of the table. So it's a great way to try lots of different kinds of food. So Actually, nice. I know a really good izakaya that I should take you to. Two. Well, my favorite food city would be Madrid. I, I lived in Madrid in Spain for, for around 10 years on and off. And the quality of the food is, is wonderful. It's sensational. Spanish people always say that uh, Spanish food is the best in the world. And I always argued while I lived there that uh, I felt there was a lot more variety in food in, in the UK. But when I moved back to the UK, I really started to miss the richness, the quality of food in Spain. I think my favourite restaurant in Spain was a tiny little um, Galician, which is a part in the northwest of Spain, seafood restaurant in a small little bar. It was a very, uh, it wasn't posh or expensive. It was cheap and basic, but just served the most wonderful seafood, followed by lots of white wine and uh, great uh, Tarta de Santiago, a great pastry dessert afterwards. Another great thing, obviously, about Spanish food, which you'll have heard of, is tapas, where everyone gets together on a Sunday lunchtime before before lunch to, to have a few bites to eat and, and a few beers together. And it's a lovely sociable atmosphere. And it's nice to go out and, and try a variety of different food. I tried once a uh, pig's ear, which I have to say was possibly the worst thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> but generally, the quality was sensational. <laughs> 